Hello and welcome to the ICU doc. My name is Tamaris Baronos and I created this series of lecture videos to help all trainees including fellows, residents and even medical students to become experts in bedside ultrasonography. The first lecture of the series is going to be on the parastelon long axis view, ways to get it and the structures you're looking at. First things first, let's put the probe on the patient. Place the probe on the left parastelon border with the indicator of the probe pointing towards the right shoulder or at approximately 9 to 10 o'clock. You're hoping to get an image looking like this with a ventricle perpendicular to the ultrasound beam within the image sector. If the ventricle is not relatively horizontal, you may have to move to a higher parastelon window or even put the patient in the left lateral position. In the parastelon long axis view, you should be able to see the ventricle right here, nice and full. You should not see the apex and you should not foreshorten the ventricle. If you do, however, you may have to rotate, tilt or rock the probe to maximize the left ventricle cavity. Also note that by convention, the indicator of the probe right here correlates to the right side of the image right here. This can be changed in the setting of the machine, so make sure that you see the mark on the image. Some manufacturers will put their logo and some others will just put a dot. So just make sure you note that before you start doing your exam. In the parastelon long axis view, after you've optimized your image, you should be looking at something like this. Now the first moving structure closer to your probe will be the right ventricle. On the other side, you have the left atrium right here, which empties into the left ventricle. The left ventricle will eject blood into the aorta right here. The structure that opens on systole is the aortic valve. Right before the aortic valve, you have a cylindrical structure right here, which is called the left ventricular outflow tract. What's very important about the LVOT is that it's a cylinder, so you can actually measure the diameter. If we know the diameter, you can calculate the stroke volume, and later on you can calculate the cardiac output. Let's talk about the mitral valve right here. The leaflet that is closer to your probe will be the anterior leaflet. And the opposite one is the posterior leaflet. Let's talk about the walls of the ventricle. The one that is closer to your probe is going to be the anterior septal wall. And the one right opposite to it should be the inferior lateral wall. If you look at structures outside of the heart, you see this circular structure right here. And what runs behind the heart is the descending aorta. This concludes the first lecture of the series. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video.